Hey YouTube, this is Tim, Tim A240. Um, but I usually just go by Tim. Uh, today I'll be showing you something kind of cool. I'm going to show you how to, well, pretty easily crack a WPA or WPA2 Wi Fi password. Uh, there are basically two steps. Uh, step one, step one, you want to get this bit of data called the WPA handshake uh, from the uh, Wi-Fi access point that you don't know the password to. And I should also mention that uh, doing this in the United States uh, is illegal if you don't have permission of the owner of the uh, Wi-Fi. I know all the hippies out there are like, hey, you can't like own Wi-Fi, man. Well, you can. The law says so. Um, well, anyway, uh, step two is you go about using that bit of data to brute force password. You can do so with a, a variety of ways. The most efficient way nowadays is using your GPU to do so. So I'm going to do that with uh, my own access point. I'm going to capture the WPA handshake. I'm going to crack it. Anyway, okay, now that we have error dump uh, going, um, and we're monitoring the uh, access point of the, uh, the access point that we want to get the handshake to, we see on the bottom the connected uh, client. Uh, now the next step. Okay, I'm going to be showing you how to capture what they call the WPA four-way handshake. It's uh, use that to then decode the password. Okay, now the operating system that I have up is uh, something that's uh, commonly available online. It's uh, a Linux uh, distro called uh, Backtrack 4. Uh, it's got a lot of cool stuff built in. And uh, once you get that up and running, uh, you just log in. You log in. Just watch. Once I logged in, I just typed in. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. Uh, start X. And okay, it's doing some things. It's blinking at me. Hey, what's up? Okay. Same if I can focus. Okay, then you just uh, open up a, a uh, shell. And a sh uh, for uh, you Windows people out there, a, a shell is kind of like a, a Windows command prompt. Same shit. Okay. Now, the first thing that we want to do is put our Wi-Fi card in a monitor mode. And that way, uh, it'll be able to just like, to snag all the things that are coming out of the air on the uh, Wi-Fi frequencies. Then we select our target and we kick off a wireless client and when they log back on, hopefully, uh, we capture that uh, handshake. So there has to be someone connected that you forcefully kick off. Or it could be patient and wait until they log on. Anyway. Let's find uh, the target, uh, but first enable the Wi-Fi adapter. So you type in iwconfig, uh, and it's going to show you the uh, Wi-Fi interfaces that you have. And the name of my Wi-Fi interface is uh, WLAN0, so I know the name of that. And now what I do is I type in Airmon ng start wlan0 and that, that's going to put your Wi-Fi card in monitor mode it's not monitor mode it's just not gonna work uh, okay good on time 
And okay, let's find the target. Uh, we type in error dump dot ng. Uh, let's see uh, the name of the adapter, uh, which is going to be. Bagger, which is going to be uh, mon m o n zero. Uh, and let's just see what's out there. Okay. Now, uh, this laptop has a pretty uh, shitty uh, Wi Fi card built in, so it doesn't detect many but it does detect the one that I want and it is the one on top it's the one on top called a uh, mpline now that's the one that I, look at this enchanted bunny what the hell <laughs> anyway we want to uh, get a password to this one uh, see that WPA TK Look, look, there's a wireless client connected. And that's the person we're going to kick off. That happens to be me on the nice computer uh, right next to us. -da. Okay, now, okay, we uh, check what channel it's on. Channel 11. And, okay, we can close that, open up a new one. Now what we do is we type in error dump ng uh, the name of the uh, monitoring interface which is mon o <laughs> no shouldn't last for that um then we do uh, we want it to capture on a uh, channel eleven so we do dot dash dash uh, channel how do you spell? 11. And then we want to write that to a file. We want to save it. So, uh, do a little uh, dash w. Then just, uh, work. I'll save it to like the uh, Windows equivalent of a uh, desktop. So, uh, backslash root slash dumps I have a folder called dumps uh, and okay now we are monitoring that channel and capturing saving all that uh, data and we see that we have a Wi-Fi client connected on the bottom uh, now we're going to open up a, another uh, shell and we're going to kick this person off by sending what they call a uh, deauthentication packet. I uh, see the BSSID of the of a client connected to that particular network. You want to send them a deauthentication packet to uh, which basically says hey get off my network uh, and it kicks them off and over here I've typed error replay uh, dash zero uh, that means the uh, type of attack uh, dash, dash uh, zero means uh, a deauthentication uh, and then you see I type ten uh, I'm gonna send that ten times just to make sure uh, dash A, that's the access point of the access point of the uh, Wi-Fi uh, hotspot. Dash C, uh, and then that's the uh, BSSID of the client, and then the name of the adapter, which is uh, Mono. I type enter, see some things blinking and stuff, and all as well. Okay, I uh, sent the deauthentication packets. Oh my god, I lost. It looks like I lost my internet. 
Okay, let me send that again. I apparently did not lose it. <laughs> okay, see it? I just got kicked off. Boom. Then, when I reconnect, uh, air dump is already monitoring this. Uh, my laptop picks up the WPA handshake. See that? And boom. That's exactly what we need to crack the uh, password. Okay. Now that you have, you have uh, obtained the WPA four-way handshake, uh, we can go about uh, cracking that with Windows. And um, the only way to do this is uh, brute forcing it or what they call a dictionary attack, which is kind of like a variation of brute forcing. Uh, anyway, the basic idea is it takes a lot of computing power, like a lot, to decode a, a WPA or WPA2 password. They're, the method you would use to decode both of them are exactly the same. Uh, but it takes a lot of computing power. Uh, WEP, I'll make a video showing you how to do that. I mean, that's old. That's old. You can easily, I mean, if you know what you're doing, you can hack a WEP network in two minutes. Uh, we just got the handshake. Now we're going to go into a piece of software that I use to do this. I use the GPU. I have a uh, GTX uh, 470. It will correct passwords, I don't know, about 15 to 20 times uh, faster than a, uh, like a fast uh, CPU. Uh, let me open this up. It's called Alcom's, Alcomsoft uh, Wireless Security Auditor. It's going to do dictionary attack. Oh, this is expensive software. Um, I just have the uh, trial version, um, and okay. Anyway, we're gonna import the capture file that we got on Linux. So we do import tc dump log file. Anyway, uh, shows you all the valid handshakes it has. Uh, I guess I caught a couple. You just need one. Okay. You select the uh, name of the network. Check it off. Go to Options, Accelerators. I want to use my GPU. And CPU options. I want to use all four of my CPUs. So, then we do the dictionary options. Okay, this is the entire English uh, dictionary. It's going to run through that and it's going to mutate each word uh, several uh, thousand times um, by adding uh, you know, numbers on and characters and whatnot. And there we go. Password mutation options. Ah, oh, this is. Just set it to fast. Oh, okay. Can you click start attack? You see it's uh, testing about 30,000 uh, passwords a second. Um, because the uh, name of the, the uh, password begins with an M, uh, it's going to take maybe like 20 minutes to get there. It will find it. Uh, it's uh, Mike uh, 1945. And password like that, you'd want to change. Uh, maybe add or, or use a word that's not in the dictionary. Um, and anyway, uh, I'll post a link to the uh, download for the software in the video. And good luck.